Hi guys, Helen the Russian here. So after driving for Uber and Lyft for five months nearly, I kind of formed an opinion as to what is better, staging or moving around in order for you to get a ride. Let me start by saying, personally, I just don't like staging at all. I'm not that kind of person. It's, I only do it part-time. So if I decided I'm going to set aside this couple, three, whatever hours for me to give people rides, I'd rather be moving around. Sitting in one place stationary just absolutely kills me. I, I, I get bored. So, because I'm in Vegas, and of course it's very different in every market, but Vegas is, as you're well aware, full of hotels and casinos and various different landmark destinations, I did find that moving around gives you better chance of a ride. It's obviously subjective opinion, but I'll back it up with several examples. For instance, on more than one occasion, in fact, I'm going to say dozen occasions, I was grabbed for airport pickup and in Las Vegas we have to be in order for me to get a um, pickup at the airport I need to go to the staging area where the app both of them they put you in a queue and then you get a ride when your time comes well a couple of times one few times I was grabbed off Tropicana once I was grabbed all the way from Escalibur for the airport pickup in Terminal 3 that surprised me and then one time I actually wanted to check out the new staging lot just to see where it is when they changed it. And I went and I made a circle. And when I was exiting, because I was moving, I get the right request to go pick up a Terminal 1. So that kind of goes to show. Then also, I quite like to troll around um, Mirage. Like I go into the Mirage and I make a slow circle by, even if I don't have a ride, I'll just make a slow circle by the ride share area and then go around, and more often than not, I'll get grabbed um, for ride request either by the Mirage or Treasure Island, or sometimes for, even from the fashion show mall, it'll come from across the street. Also, just last week, I was dropping someone off at the fashion show mall at Macy's Valley, and as they were exiting, this lady comes up and she goes, oh, are you an Uber lady? And I said, I am, but you need to request me in order for me to give you a ride. She goes, oh, okay, no, no, I'll do that. So I said it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. I was not in any hurry. So I threw the car. I, the car was in park, obviously, but the engine was still running. And I said, take your time. And that's fine. And it took her just over a minute. Like it, it was an instant. So and I already ended the previous ride. So well, I was the only ride share in the area. That's why she approached me. There was not any other cars, no Lyft, no Uber that I could see. She couldn't see them either. So she finally gets through whatever she needs to do, puts the location, the destination, requests the ride, and guess what? I go, who did you get? And she got some driver who was five minutes away, according to the app. And see, I was right there in front of her, and I did not get that ride request, which kind of supports my opinion that app, both of them, they like a moving target. It's best to be moving. So many times I went by MGM, and MGM, one of the few hotels here who, that actually has a staging area for rideshare, and usually there are always cars in there, and mo that one I lost counts definitely well over two dozen times when I either was driving by or was dro dropping someone off and turned the other app on as I was dropping, and I got a ride request with all those cars being staged, sometimes as many as 8 or 10. So that's just it. Um, keep on moving, get more rides, make more money.